it happens any anywhere where we are you know in a loving kind atmosphere when you hug your friend that's also oxytocin right so that's the that's the hormone that feels makes you feel relaxed and comfortable too so in all ways when you look at labor either whether it's partner support or whether it's mom or whether it's the birth partner or whether it's a kind staffing which helps you with certain things with good words oxytocin automatically is there in the room but oxytocin comes in pulses at the beginning of labor it is a very small pulse of oxytocin then it increases so at initially it might only be like one pulse in about 30 minutes or one pulse in one hour right and then later on it becomes one pulse in every 30 minutes then it becomes one pulse in every 15 minutes eventually it becomes so if you if at that point of time when you have, if you are disrupting labor and in early labor you start going out to the uh, to the hospital saying that oh i've seen one little bit drop of blood i have got one contraction in one hour then the 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 thing is that it's also a very shy hormone so unlike the same you know if you go into the other extreme of uh, explaining if when the we talk about this in class when you and your partner were making love what would happen if 5 10 people were standing around and saying there is actually a very sweet video done by in a in a i think it's a birth, it's a place in italy where this italian doctor and nurse keep interrupting the act and they say don't do this do that switch on the light switch off the light and then they go like bye bye doctor we are going we'll make our baby by herself you know because he's trying to direct how to make a baby right so it's exactly like that it's the there is, it's a private hormone it's a shy hormone and so when you disturb that and move right to the to the hospital where the doctor puts a hand inside which most people find extraordinarily uncomfortable if not downright painful and then there are nurses coming to take blood pressure and even in a birth center like ours where everything is calm that shy hormone just vanishes most of the time what we will see is when they come to the center they'll just come and then they'll say oh, i feel comfortable they lie down and go off to sleep 2 3 hours later we send them back home right because it is a hormone which does not do well unless there is privacy so conception and labor so that's where it ties into labor it comes in a huge dose after the birth of the baby and at a certain point when there's birth of placenta and therefore the need to keep the room calm when we start to immediately make phone calls when we start to weigh the baby when we start to do pricks here and there when the grandparents are knocking on the door saying that can i come in again no oxytocin so the birth of the placenta can get delayed and you can have you know unnecessary hemorrhage it's equally important for breastfeeding so again the doctors have gone out of the room the mother is stitched up everything is done grandmoms there and the first thing she does or the nurse is pressing the breast oxytocin runs away then we wonder why this woman's not able to breastfeed because there is too much touching happening in a place which does not need touching and again and again even in the birth center i've gone great telling people don't do that don't do that don't do that people just still don't listen to me very much sometimes i have to go there and start the process but we are actually negating all these things by doing it because we want certain things to happen and we want it to happen in a certain manner do i believe that the golden hour is important yes but do i believe that the baby has to be just simply put on the breast and screwed to the breast no and so th therefore we then land up with having problems later on and the woman herself what does she feel she feels that she is now incapable without somebody else pressing her breast and holding her breast so they asked for the entire st stage of pushing it just happens in the last one to two pushes it's like ejecting out of a parachute so the at the very end there is this if the if everything is quiet mom's confident fat fat like two pushes the baby is out and sometimes we 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 get like you know the baby is just sitting there sitting there we are seeing this much hair and then all of a sudden the baby comes that is the ejection reflex right so that nothing needs to be done sometimes the mom will strain groan depends on the size of the baby the, the way the ma ma maternal architecture is her skin her all these things but primarily it is related to not having fear and being able to be in a position where the baby can actually be able to born by be born by itself so the last hormone is prolactin hormone this was called oxytocin was called the hormone of love prolactin is called the mothering hormone 
Why is it important? Because this, this makes her completely aware and very much protective of her baby. Right? And that, that, that intense feeling like nobody should touch my baby, nobody should take it away, it comes very much with that, the more the surges of prolactin and hence even more need not to unnecessarily touch the baby, not to do things to the baby. Okay, a little bit of rubbing up, great, leave the mother and baby alone, they enjoy the moment. Some of them may actually say quietly and they may not want to really uh, be like, you know, all in love with the baby, but they are still there savoring that moment. That's their moment of pause. Some may be shouting, I did it, I did it and that's okay, that's their moment of pause. Some may be just quietly rubbing up the baby, that's their moment of pause. But all of those actually fo are followed by intense protective feeling. The moment your baby gets taken away into a warmer, the moment it, things start to be done to you or the baby, the moment they are not allowed to savor it, even the smell, the new, the, when the mother is left with the newborn for the first two to three hours of life, she can recognize her baby by smell from a hundred of babies which are in the NICU. It allows for better letdown and it allows for successful breastfeeding. So once a letdown happens, the mom is able to successfully breastfeed as well and even if it, the letdown doesn't happen, the baby sucks and makes the letdown happen.